Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Brand Gun. Uh, in this video review as you can see we have aircraft kit in 172nd scale which copies North American Mustang 1, so it's the first version of the famous US fighter aircraft and now we have a chance to check it closer. Let me remind you that we are gathering money for the new camera and you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy and it is safe because it's done via PayPal and of course you decide the amount we will get from you. Uh, so be sure that all money will be used for the new camera and new lighting and some other equipment which will help us get better photo and videos. As for the kit, this is a 172nd scale aircraft, so as you can see, uh, box is not that huge, here you can see comparison with my hand. Uh, we have this nice box art on the front and on the rear side we have four marking options which are included into this kit. Uh, these are color profiles, as you can see they are quite simple, but they include quite, I would say, different markings. These two are British, this one is Soviet aircraft and this one is from California. So it's quite an interesting choice of markings for this aircraft. And as you can see, box is quite thin on the sides. We have just same safety information. So we are going to jump straight to plastic screws and check what is given there. So first we have this plastic screw. This one carries various parts for external and internal detailing. And as you can see, uh, we have even here some cockpit parts, for example, here and landing gear wheels, pilot seat, tail landing gear, some external surfaces and I guess some modelers who already know 72nd scale Mustang kits they should, let's say, guess who is manufacturer of this plastic and why it is molded in this quite special color, I would say. But molding, color, um, molding quality is quite good, so I don't think that you have any possible problems. Note that we had bombs and these bombs did not have uh, position pins inside, so be careful while working with them. Here we have second plastic sprue. This one is designed to carry both fuselage halves and also we have here a one-piece propeller wheel wells which are molded to the one piece part and will have to be inserted into the wing here we have tail surfaces that's a cockpit floor exhausts and what else here we have note that top coating part is molded together with fuselage cars so you will have to be careful you know, while trying to remove this uh, let's say seam between these two halves inside we don't have anything interesting i would say there are no position pins so again, pay attention while joining these two parts together because otherwise it might be tricky to get a proper nice Mustang in 172nd scale. And third and the last plastic sprue is dedicated to wings of course. Parts division here is also quite typical. So we have one bottom part and two top parts. Note that ailerons are promoted while flaps were molded separately so I guess you can even position them in the dropped version. Here you can notice that we don't have any position pins inside so again due care is required because otherwise it will be tricky to get a nice result. Next we have this small clear sprue which is dedicated to various transparent parts. Note that canopy is molded as a one piece part so you won't be able to open cockpit on your aircraft. At least molding quality is quite nice so the only thing you have to do is to get mask sheet in order to get a nice looking painting option on your model. Then we have small resin part. This one copies air intake for first version of the Mustang. As you can see this air intake will be molded as one piece part. So you won't have to work with separate pieces for such small element. Then we have decals sheet, here it is. As you remember, there are four marking options included into this kit. Two British, one American and one USSR version, Soviet version. Uh, printing quality looks quite nice, but there are no stencils. Even though this is one so in the second scale, some kits already do have stencils. So it's quite surprising that Brain Gun decided to avoid them. 
and then we have assembly menu here it is black and white brochure straight on the first page we have parts map just let me zoom out a bit so that you can see whole manual so as I said parts map is here and then we have assembly process which starts with cockpit assembly then we join fuselage halves together assemble propeller install wing into the place tail surfaces and also ending gear parts here we use this resin part as you can see for air intake install the canopy install the propeller into the place and we are good to go note that you will also have to use wire in order to imitate uh, the antenna on the canopy so that's quite a nice small aircraft kit but i wouldn't recommend it to beginners because of some design i would say specialties for example absence of position pins might be tricky for beginners so i would rather start with something simple and then go with this mustang one but professionals might get a really nice looking aircraft in 170 second scale they can buy it straight on the manufacturer's website don't forget that this is a brand gun and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit write it here in the comment section below if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.